Hey, what's going on everyone? Simpsons Man here, and today we have another mail day opening from Super 7. I got my Kang and Kodo shirt. If you do remember from the other day, we just opened up Kang, and today we're going to open up the other sister, Kodos. So stay tuned, let's get into it. today's video we're going to be opening up Kodos and as you've heard me talk about these for like the past couple weeks these are definitely hands down my favorite out of the whole entire line just because I feel like I definitely got my money's worth of how massive these are we just did the Kang video the other day uh, we have the Earth's Capital the ray gun we do have another toy that comes with it who is Maggie obviously and then it did have a fork and knife for the another part of the accessories but today we're gonna be opening up the other sister who is Kodos so let's just go ahead and dive right in into it and then we can kind of look at it as we uh, as we go I'm gonna cut all four of the sticker tabs because these are so massive that they need four to hold them down so give me one second here okay got that and I remember just from opening the other one up that there was a ton of twisty ties on there so if that's the same case as this one then yeah we'll definitely be doing a little bit of fast forwarding let me go ahead and pull this all the way out oh this one this one's very very strong with the smell a lot of these you can smell a lot when you first opening them up, you know, just like the paint smell and everything. And this one was pretty massive. So let's go ahead and start taking out some of the accessories. So give me one second here. There we go. Oh, figured that would just pop right out. You got the, uh, the plate accessory. He's holding, there we go. And does this open up? Nope, it doesn't. Oh man, I was kind of, I was kind of hoping this would open up. Doesn't feel like it does. So we got the plate right here to unveil. Man, it... Oh! You know what? Oh, it does open up. Man, it sounds like I snapped it or something, but no, it, it, just, it, just, it just opens up. I thought it, like, twists or something. So cool. It definitely does open up. I'm glad I figured that out. And I'll probably maybe leave it like this. And does it come with any kind of a food or something? I'm wondering if I can find, like, maybe an old Simpsons figure and put like a Homer head or something on there. I think that would actually be kind of cool. Make it a little bit of blood, maybe a little bloody or something just to kind of play around with it. Let me, give me a week or so. I'm going to kind of fiddle around and try to figure some stuff out. So now let's go ahead and get some more of the accessories. And man, this, the odor is like very, very strong. Like I, I don't understand what's going on with this odor here. So here's another thing about this blister box or blister packaging. They have a very big square on the back that's empty. So I'm not sure if that was supposed to be, you know, another accessory at one point, or maybe they just left a lot of room for the tentacle. That I'm not sure. So it looks like we do have the book, the How to Cook uh, 40 Humans book. I think that's what it says on there. Let me see if it actually, yep. How to Cook for 40 Humans. And then there is the book right here. I'll go ahead and show you right here. I'll put that down. That perfectly goes down like that. Uh, we do have, a, I'd say, a salt shaker. I don't think this is a pepper shaker. This might just be a salt shaker. Let's see if it says S or anything on there. Nope, but it, I mean, I'm assuming it's a little salt shaker. So we have the salt shaker right there. Put that down. And then this one has another ray gun. So they're both, uh, they both have a ray gun. Um, not sure if that's just lazy for them to have, but, you know, I think the Kid Robot ones, no, nope. one of the Kid Robot ones do, and one of, oh, no, the Funko ones. Nope, they both have different ones. So this is literally the same exact ray gun. Funny enough, the one, I just noticed that Kang has a little bit of paint chip on there. Uh, this one seems pretty solid, but there isn't, so on, the, on this one, you can connect the Earth's capital. This one, you cannot. I mean, you could, but there's nothing else on there to connect. So I think for uh, for Kodos, we'll probably have him holding, man, man the, all three of those accessories are great. I almost want to maybe take this hand off and maybe put the book on there because, or maybe I'll have him holding the dish. I'm going to have to do something because these accessories I like a lot better uh, than the Kang ones. But let's get to the, um, the main course here. Yeah, so this one has that other weird piece in the front, which makes it think makes me think that maybe it wasn't for an accessory. It's just part of the blister pack. Let's take off the head, punch the uh, 
head through. So it looks like we get two heads with this one that both of their eyes move. Uh, if you remember the first one, uh, they only had one that one of the heads moved. Um, and then the other head was obviously the eye, but yeah, so the eyes, I mean, not the heads move, the eyes move. So you can see the eye right there, it moves back and forth. Um, I'm not sure which head I'll probably leave with this one, but um, since these are insanely easy to pop in and out, like kind of have my options here, kind of do whatever I want to do with them. Uh, let's go ahead and take that off and then let me figure this out to see how I'm going to cut this. Trying to cut this so I can open it fast so I don't have to worry about fast forwarding it. But I also don't want to damage anything or cut myself. That was uh, kind of scary. Got to get some wire cutters. I keep telling myself. I mean, I have some in my garage that just not in here. I think I'm going to saw it with this knife. There we go. Easy enough. So you can just cut through those with no issue whatsoever. And man, there is there's just way too much going on here with all of these twisty ties. I'm trying to think, will this come right out now? Put that tentacle back. We got the, the glass again. There we go. All right, so let's put all this back in there because we don't want all of this crap on my desk here. So we're gonna push this back like that. We're gonna put all of these twisty ties. Those other ones we'll just toss. You know, because all of this, you know, we just put in a, um, we just put back in the box and then that's it. After we put it in the box, we put it in the bigger box and then we just throw it up in the attic. And to be honest, they'll never, it'll never see the light of day again unless we, you know, decide to sell it or do something with it. But you know, we're talking about 30 years from now. We ain't gonna be selling this anytime soon, that's for sure. The resale, I feel like, on Kang and Kodos might be pretty crazy because they're not in circulation anymore um, outside of the ones that they have right now. So, yeah, I think the resale on these are going to be pretty insane down the road. Oh, you know what? I just noticed that this has like a little rubber piece on there. Did this one have it on there? I don't know if it did, but that, I mean, it, it had it on this one. I'm not sure if it, it even had it on the other one or not, but we're going to go ahead and start taking this apart. This is just normal twisty tie. So we could just pull this off like that. And then we got another one, of course. Gotta love all these twisty ties. And then we have that one right there. I will go ahead and, uh, don't need my knife on there, oops. And then we have this right here. All right, so we got Kodos. Enough of that. So it takes me forever to unbox all these, but they, we have Kodos with all the accessories. Let me uh, pop the head off. Pop this plastic off. Um, this is almost like a almost like a little tutorial for you guys. So once you guys are, you know, getting these in the mail and everything, you know exactly. Oh, I'm gonna have to knife this one again. You know exactly like what pieces to take off and everything else. So there we go. Take this off and should have kept the knife up here until I was ready. But there we go. So we do have the two heads. Um, on this one, I probably will use the other head it did not come with. So like I said, these are insanely easy just to click on they turn all the way around um, I really wish that the other super 7 uh, toys were like that just a little bit easier because I'm just scared to death and I'm gonna break them um, I think I might reserve this hand for for Kang but I'm not sure because I'm not gonna do double ray gun I mean I guess I can have one of them holding double but I, I feel like that'd be kind of lame um, let's go ahead and take off one of these hands and put the uh, salt on there but I feel like you know, he would want to hold it here. Let's, we're going to play around with this for just one second. I mean, that's what toys are for, right? To play around with. I mean, maybe not, you might, you might not be watching the video because you want to watch me play with, you know, these Super 7 toys, but you know what? I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to try and see if there's a way. And a lot of times I see other people on, um, on my Instagram and stuff that, you know, have purchased these as well. You know, they're going to, give me ideas of like how to set these up but yeah look at that so we can kind of pretend that we are cooking i mean we can even put maggie on here this thing is pretty solid actually that's a kind of a good idea we we're not going to put that on there like that um but yeah we do have um we do have the how to cook for 40 humans book i still think i'm going to go with my idea and grab like an old homer cut its head off and maybe put him right there because i want to oh wait 
there we go. These, so these, I'm, I, like I said, I'm just scared to bend these. I, I know I shouldn't be, but you know, they're made to, they're made to bend in all, literally all different ways. But I feel like that'd be kind of hilarious. I wish this kind of sat down just a little bit lower so I can kind of bend it. So, you know, it's, he's actually putting this, there we go. That's, a, that's actually pretty good right there. So he's throwing the, the salt on there. And once I actually get something to put on there, you know, I'll change it. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to put his dome on there. And this dome, because of his ears, it's a little bit different than the other one. The other one, this one has more pointed ears. So it's kind of, there we go. A little bit harder to put on. But, you know, once I click this bad boy in, or there's like a little tab right there. Okay, got the tab in. There we go. Click in. And right there. Once I, once I set all this up, that'll be it. But I really want to put uh, this book probably put it oh this isn't turning that well there it goes man they're really hard to turn at first oh and this one clicks in too so you could actually this has a hand that you could uh change out with the sign but i think i am going to put that one here if if i can i feel like that one would have to be there i'll mess around with it i'm not sure exactly how i'm going to do it yet but here you know what we'll just be cooking his own his own hand in that one there perfect so he's got his hand uh, he's got everything. We got the uh, the eyeball right here, which is oh, you know what? I didn't take the uh, tape off of this one, but you know, like I said, what a bummer. I mean, I know they spend a lot of money on making all of these, but man, like I feel like just you know, I might not be the average person when it comes to these, but for all the accessories like the head and everything else, like they almost could have made like a thirty or forty dollar line and only had like maybe one or two accessories. I think this one costed like $70. I think this was the most expensive one, uh, or these two were the most expensive ones they've ever done out of the Simpsons at least. But you know, like the repeat accessory, uh, the head, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna change them out, I feel like. I feel like that's the way that they're gonna be. For an exception, you know, I'm gonna put the, the arm on there or the, the book on there at some point. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it. The ray gun, you know, all this will probably just go somewhere else. Um, but that's gonna be it, you know? Kang and Kodos, definitely gonna be my favorite ones out of the lineup. They're huge, they're massive, and we're gonna do some comparison shots here. Uh, give me one second here. Let me grab a few of the toys. All right, so we're back, and I did grab one of each one that I currently have in my collection. Uh, we have this one right here first, and this one is from the Burger King line. I don't think this one works. Nope, because it does have a battery in there. It's probably dead, but as you can tell, insanely small. This one right here is from Gentle Giant. I'm going to show you right here. And I wanted to show you this one because it kind of similar to this one right here. You know, it has Maggie picking, getting Maggie like picked up with a pacifier. Super small. Uh, this one right here is from Funko. And then we have one from the Burger King line. Oh, is this another Burger King one? Yep. This is another Burger King one right here. And then we do have one from Kid Robot. So, and then they do have the How to Cook for 40 Humans book. I think it was in his hand it must have fell out when i was carrying it out there but as you can see like these are like normal size toys the funko one was actually a lot larger than most but you can see all of these right here like how big they are compared to kang and Koda. so that's gonna be it for today's video uh thank you for sticking around i know this one's a little bit longer than normal but i definitely wanted to go ahead and show you kang and kodos this is the Kodos unboxing of Wave 3, the Ultimates from Super 7. And thank you for checking out the video. As always, if you did like the video, I'd really, really appreciate a like. And if you are new here, as most of you might be, I would really appreciate a new subscribe. Every single subscription helps. We're slowly climbing up to 100K. That's the goal. And I'm going to keep posting videos until I get to it. So until next time, thank you so much for checking out yet another one of my Super 7 Mail Day opening videos. And see ya.